You commit this thing, you say, well, it's a prospect thing. We want to get a look at our prospects. He's hammered there by Ristolainen. Everybody's got to be ready to get out there and execute and do their job. Stop! Then after you get into the competitive part of it, you say, no, we want to win here. Nikita is a dog! Wins that for the Sabres! You got low, you got low. You got low, Becky. It started in 1998, and it started with four teams, and it went to six teams, and then eight. So this is the longest running and the largest tournament that's out there. Shoot, shoot. For most of these players, it's their, it's their opportunity to, to put on the Sabres jersey for the first time in their career, to get a sense of what it's like to be wearing the jersey, be with teammates that are from that organization, and it's a sense of pride. Come on, boys, find the tape! Find the tape! Back to shoot! Every time you're wearing that crest, you want to be on the ice and you want to win for the organization that had faith in you, that had the courage to draft you. Yeah, Rudy, Rudy! Yeah! It really does for everybody in, in, in the tournament. Gives you a chance to bond with your, your kids. What a shot, Armia. Who you learn that? You know, it gives you an idea of what's, what's in the pipeline. You know, what's, uh, what's the, what is the hope is for the future. It was a real pleasant experience last time we were here. We won the tournament and the weather was beautiful. And, it's a beautiful area, so it's just, you know, to think it's the start of hockey season. We want to be proactive out on the ice and not react. Everybody understand that. We're not going to wait around to see what they're going to do and feel the game out. We're going to go at them and we're going to push the pace on them. The defending champions take to the ice for game one here in Traverse City as they square off against the Columbus Blue Jackets. So we're doing everything first. That means we get first touches on pucks. That means we win the first face off, we get the first hit, we get the first shot on goal, we draw the first penalty, we get ourselves on the power play. We're gonna go at them and we're gonna push the pace on them. He cuts to the circle, looking for the shot, takes the wrist shot, he scores! Yes, and very little time wasted by Buffalo. That way, Lou. Keep playing fast. Get it up to our forwards quick and we'll counter on them. Back goes far side, Rooster Lane, the shot, he scores! And that quick start helped propel the Sabres to a 3-2 win here in the opener. I thought we really played as a team. You could see guys were pulling for each other and guys were committed to doing what it took to win the hockey game. And obviously it's going to take more of that tomorrow. The Rangers have a really good roster. All the teams here do, so you've got to be committed to that. Everyone wants to win. Everyone's here, you know, trying to be pro hockey players and everyone's battling for positions in the NHL and the AHL, and you, know, you got to prove yourself each and every night. In the period here, got to keep going the right way here. Jean Baptiste on the breakaway, he scores! The physical intensity is really picking up here. Baptiste is alone, pass the left side, they scores a off on the power play! And it's 2-1 Buffalo, 8.34 to go here in period two. Fristo on the far wall. Now gets to the slot, puts it in front of the net, and they score! They are going end-to-end -end here in the second. Graves up for the blue line, drops their sink right back for Graves, backhander, and he scores, and we are tied at five! Gotta get back to work here, gentlemen. Gotta get back to work here. The 5-2 lead is gone, but the opportunity to win is still in their hands. And we are just about set for overtime hockey. Christo now moves into the zone, his shot. Makarov with the save, rebound kicked away by Armia. He's on the left wing side. He's hammered there by Ristolainen. Back to the right side, Zdarov. Winds up with the shot. He scores! Nikita Zdarov wins it for the Sabres in overtime, his second goal of the game. Take me through the overtime goal. Tell me about it. I just shooting. I don't know. I just close my eyes and shoot. And they <laughs> score.
team building thing comes from just putting on that sweater and getting into competition with these guys. This is what all starts for a lot of relationships between these guys. You know, they don't know each other, they probably played against each other, but they're probably the start of some lifetime friendships. Uh, it's important to us that you guys speak up. If you have questions, concerns, comments, ideas, if something were to go wrong. We can help build a strong team and really help with communication issues. It's a lot of fun too. You see them outside their environment, so they get a chance to interact without, with each other without having the pressure maybe of playing hockey. So just kind of fun and getting to know each other. <laughs> They've been doing a lot of games where it takes some thinking and they have to coordinate themselves. And really, they have to coordinate as a team. So the first time they'll do it, they're pretty discombobulated. But then by the time they talk about it and they come up with an idea and a plan and everyone knows the plan, then they've given themselves a gift to improve on that time. the Boston Bruins, they won the Stanley Cup after doing it, so I'll be curious what happens with you guys. I'll be watching you now. <laughs>
They have to respond now. And they score as Trainer got the puck in front of the net, and the Sabres have made it three to two. Lewin is out, the extra attacker's on. Can they find the equalizer? Armia moving into the zone, looking for the shot. Nice move, takes the shot. Oh, what a pad save! Armia comes back with 30 seconds left to go. Yurko steals it from him. Yurko moving in, takes the shot, and he scores. And that's going to do it. The Detroit Red Wings have won the Traverse City Tournament as the Sabres are not able to defend the title. The final score, Detroit 4 and Buffalo 2. Put ourselves in a position to win a championship. We fell a little bit short tonight, but you guys should all be proud of the effort. You look around the room, you see how much sacrifice and effort went into this week. And everybody played their ass off, and you should be proud of that, all right? Good job, man. Well, I really liked our compete level from the beginning. I felt like this group of kids worked really hard. They were committed to what we were trying to do and try to win a championship here. You can see in their eyes how much they've given. I don't think there's any doubt that everybody in this room gave it everything they had. I think the guys took a lot of pride in playing for that jersey, and that's something that, that's going to be really important for us going forward.